Asia. And my, my project, my research, is entitled Action Research on Improving Students' Listening, Comprehension Skills in an Extension English Course, Reflections and Actions of a Teacher. Um, so introducing the, the project Casas de Futuro no Campus, like all my other colleagues said, uh, what is the project? It's a project uh, to undergraded students at UFAO in Alagoas and that can't pay, they cannot pay a private course. Our objective is um, to teach them English also with critical literacy and to create, not to create, yes, yeah, try to, to, to form uh, critical citizens. Um, and the action research project, uh, that it's a separate, not separate action, not a separate research project, it's together with my, uh, with my work on project, project Casa de Cultura no Campus, which I try to, to find out about the problems students um, have on English classes. And in this semester, we found out through questionnaires and interviews that their main problem is listening. This that I was searching on through their answers and the problems that they have been showing in class. Uh, the critical literacy class. So as all my colleagues, I made a, one of my critical literacy class. Uh, the main topic was homeless people, which I decided to this topic, I chose this topic because it was very um, from nowhere. I didn't know what to work with them, and I chose this topic because I was on YouTube, and I accidentally found out some, um, how can I say that, um, a group in, on YouTube, and they have a channel called Invisible People. They are from the USA, I, I'm not sure. Yeah, I think they are from the USA, but they work in other places too because I saw they had some videos in going to Canada too and uh, making some interviews with homeless people and to know about the stories of these people, why they are homeless, what happened to them. Uh, and actually the interview what is an ex-homeless person. Uh, okay, so the objectives of this this class was to to focus on this on this this subject because uh, the homeless people because this is all around the world and in Brazil in Maceió we see this a lot like in every corner and it's something that we don't actually talk about it too much and we see it we feel a little bit sad but we don't do much for these people so step by step of my class um, as it was a listening class together with critical literacy topic um, uh, we did a pre-listening and a while listening stage and a post-listening that it was a discussion. So the, on the pre-listening, um, I gave them some pictures of homeless people on the streets just to, um, to, to come up with the subject, to see, to come up with the topic. And they say, and I asked, uh, guys, what is this? Who are these people? And they said, oh, they're people who live on the streets. But they didn't know how to say, so I, I taught them, um, I taught them how to say homeless people, and we come up with a lot of vocabulary from this topic because they were going to need when they listen. We um, I also gave them uh, a sum up of the the how can I say not testimonial um, the arguments the what the the homeless. I chose three homeless uh, that I found out interesting, what they said, and their stories, and they, and I, to, uh, I gave them a sum up of these testimonials, these arguments, the, their, what they said about their stories. And they read about it, we kind of discussed it, I made some questions to see if they got it, what was on the text. Then I came up with the activity, the listening activity. And it was three questions, each question for each homeless. And one is, it was, no, two or three or four questions. And the other one was, um, uh, 
uh, they had some questions to answer. So it was a uh, dissertative question. And I explained to them, we read the questions, I, I checked if they really understood, and uh, we checked some questions and they listened. So they had, a, they had this problem with listening, especially because it's an authentic audio and they really think it's really fast and it's something I'm going to talk about it later. The discussion, sorry, let me go back. The discussion went very well, actually. Okay. And they, they, I, I, I gave them some questions like, does this happen in Brazil? Do we have homeless people in Maceió? What can we do to help them? Or what can the government do to help them, in your opinion? And we started talking about it, and they gave me their opinions, and it was very interesting because I learned some things they knew I didn't know, and I saw that they don't have that that vision, that prejudgment, that judgmental vision that they are only drug addicts, for example. And I asked them, are all the the homeless people crack addicts? are all the homeless people drug addicts and that's why they are in this life and they said no teacher because that's not it that's not what happened also because they listened and some stories it wasn't this case and we had a debate and i separated them in two groups uh, one of the groups had to defend that they were all drug addicts they <laughs> wanted to live on the streets uh, they liked that, that easy life and the students said it was an easy life because they ask for money, people give them, and that's why they don't have to work. Um, and the other group had to, to defend that know that they have some explanation for being a drug addict and for being in that life. And even though the, the first group didn't believe in that, like generalizing the situation, they defended the cause with very good arguments also. Of course, the, the discussion was all in Portuguese because they are basic to classroom and they have a little bit of difficulty to speak in English. And, okay. <laughs> so, my point of view in one of my diaries of this classroom, I said, I really felt the students engaged on the topic we were discussing because that was when they stopped to listen and think about instead of only receiving what they see or hear people say. Also, they had the opportunity to share what they saw on the streets uh, in their daily life, uh, expressing what they think and rethinking about it. And that was what I felt about the classroom that I, I explained to like in a little bit, a few minutes now. And the students' point of view, well, we didn't have a time, we didn't have enough time to so they could uh, they could give me the, their answer to this question, like what do you th what did you think what do you think the class today was about? Did you like it? Uh, they didn't answer me this question because we didn't have time, and I asked I asked them to send me by email, but only some of them did, and I didn't have enough material to bring. But um, one of them said, and something that. It really got my attention. That he said that uh, it's very good to have these classes because to discuss these topics, these polemical topics, because uh, they are undergrad students. And they have to to have this critical uh, thinking about things in the world, and it was something that caught my attention because I didn't tell him that, and he had this conscience. Um, so my final considerations, like uh, class preparation is very important because, um, okay, the, that student, he said he had, he still had difficulties with the listening, but the, the text that I gave him first helped him to understand a little bit more of the listening. So class preparation is something that is very important in listening classes, is something that I, I see now, and Listening can happen with authentic material. You just have to know how to do it. Uh, and you have to give uh, the students the tools. Like uh, Jeremy Harper said, that you should give them a little bit of information of what they are listening, what they are going to listen. So when they listen, they are prepared. 
And also something that I forgot doing that Harbour also says that it's pausing in strategical uh, moments of the listening. But I didn't remember that in the classroom, so it's something that I'm not going to do anymore. <laughs> and students produce when they are more, more when they motiv they are motivated. So this this topic really motivates students in classroom, and they really produce more. And that's it. These are my references. Thank you very much.